focus doing his beautiful maps as always. Pure art pieces. So I have one question, where are we going? In the water. We're going in the water! <laughs> oh shit! I didn't see that one coming. We're going to the cold room. Rising or falling tide, what happens is that the current comes and squeezes between these two islands, and it gets shallower as well, so it squeezes and accelerates. If I had to choose between the daily trips and the liveaboard, well, to be honest, they're, they're both super cool. With the fast boats that we have, we get to first on the dive sites. So that's a really good advantage for us that like to work here, because we have the dive sites for ourselves, and we can show it to the guests in a different kind of, uh, different kind of environment. But I do like the liveaboard a lot, um, planning the, the trip to go gradually from easy dives to something a bit better, uh, to something a bit more difficult, let's say, and see the divers get better slowly, slowly. Uh, that's very satisfying, and on the liveaboard it's the same story. You would wake up and do a very early dive, so that's when you are alone. You'll do like uh, two other dives during the day, and uh, usually you are alone. And then you do like some cool sunsets or night dives that are actually something that make really uh, some dive sites special. Um, so yeah, the combination of all this and being like uh, sharing the whole day the things with the guests and being able to chat with them eat a lot <laughs> around diving is basically eat dive eat dive eat dive eat sleep repeat <laughs> and that's a really cool menu yeah and one thing especially with the liverboard that surprised me is the food, the food. yes juicy josh and his uh, magic recipe Keep your belly happy all day, huh? Definitely. You cannot make you go back with that you choose to prefer. <laughs> <laughs> Liverboard episode. If you liked it, leave a like and comment and subscribe and all of that. But especially if you if you would like to join, now the high season is just starting. We will have these kind of trips going, going um, very often. I would probably say that if you're an avid diver, you just wanna eat, dive, eat, dive, eat, dive, eat, dive, and then a little bit of sleep. No, you get some sleep. But it's a lot of dives. Then this is the best way to do it. Plus you get the sunrise, you get the sunset, you get the night dives. It's a really nice experience. So yeah, feel free to join on the next trip. The weather is looking well. You can see some clouds over there. So I guess it's not perfect, but I would say that it's, it's pretty decent. So yeah, high season is starting. The visibility we had now is 20 plus, so when it's like this, I don't think that there's any better place than Komodo. <laughs>